हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज अ ग्रेट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ऑनलाइन ऑर्गेनिक फूड स्टोर वेबसाइट एंड इट हैज वेरी प्रोफेशनल एंड टू द पॉइंट लुक ऑफ कोर्स एंड दिस इज द अनंत वन दिस इज ऑल्सो फॉर ऑर्गेनिक फूड स्टोर एंड दिस इज बींग दर्ड वन दिस इज ऑल्सो हैविंग अ वेरी ग्रेट लुक course so similarly we have eight looks for organic food store and now you can understand i am going to show you a wonderful wordpress theme especially made for organic food store and these are the pre made websites eight pre made websites are available with this theme and this theme is e coins so e coins as a great wordpress theme if you are in plan for making a organic food store website and it is going to be really a very good catch for you as it has all the features that is required so i am happy to record this video as well because uh, this is being the eighth video in this category that means for organic food store website on this channel and all the selections of themes are really very good hand picked and you know all this because we always used to bring those uh, themes which are very effective popular and uh, it is really going to keep a wonderful website for you so this is being the theme for your organic food store website project and this is econics sorry equines in fact no it is e conis okay sorry i was wrong so econics is the name of the theme and it is not econics in fact i'm so sorry so econics is a wordpress theme for organic food store and econics organic food store wordpress theme has been developed by wp bingo so wp bingo are elite authors and the theme is actually new this is why i chosen this theme for to be on this channel this can be a good choice and it can give you a new look as well to your e commerce website that is for organic food store website and it has uh, e conix has multi vendor support as well so you can use this theme for uh, marketplace website as well and it has uh, one click demo import pre made organic store websites and all such features as i discussed and the beginning of this video and it has fully responsive layout shop styles and all such things so uh, without any further delay Uh, we shall start installing the e conix uh, theme installation and mm, we will also import the demo content make a pre made website like any of these so this can be our target website for the time being and uh, for this video you can say and any of this can be targeted in fact and you can choose any of the available pre made website according to your requirement and choice so i have a first installation of wordpress in which the default 2021 wordpress theme has been installed in the latest version of wordpress that is wordpress version 5.8 and i got the theme pack in the theme pack there is only one theme file pack and online docu documentation file so econix.zip is here we are going to use this theme pack for the installation purpose and for installing the theme we have to go in the theme section of wordpress and click on add new upload theme choose file and here we need to choose econix. zip and mm, if you are having direct access on your server you can directly upload the same file uh, to the wp content themes directory 
and I am doing the same I just wish to show you the theme file size how really it is optimized both activities are same don't get confused you can use this WordPress interface for uploading the theme or you can use this uh, cPanel or file manager option to upload the theme directly to your hosting and the theme file size is just 22.67 MB in size so it is an indication of uh, optimized theme generally I have seen the theme file size remains uh, around 15 to 20 MB in size so um, okay so it is a good indication that this is an optimized theme and I have seen the code quality as well so in the background it is good and you can of course you choose this theme um, from technical aspects it has been checked at our end so um, once the progress bar turns green with 100% we can go back and extract the uploaded file and the extraction extraction outcome is being this iconics folder in which we got all the theme components so folders and files are here and of course we got all the files and now we can delete the zip one it is just consuming the server space and we have already extracted its elements okay fine so we are now okay to go in the theme section again since we have uploaded the theme directly to our hosting and as i said you can use this interface uh, wordpress interface for uploading the theme as well so both activities are same don't repeat the process don't get confused okay so now we have uh, econics as another theme options uh, and along with the default theme let us check the details this is econics version 1.0.3 and econics as a modern clean and professional e-commerce wordpress theme okay so we can activate it now and upon activation we got an alert that we need to install certain plugins in order to use the complete theme features let us see the list of plugins that has been required or recommended so only two plugins are required and rest are recommended however uh, the recommended uh, plugins are also equally important as I assume so this theme has Elementor the great page builder and the Redux framework so I always recommend to use the combination of Elementor and Redux framework and this theme brings you brings both for you so it is a great combination technically this combination works very fine and Dokken is for multi vendor store so if you want to have a multi vendor feature at your website you can keep the Dokken uh, plugin active and just in case if you are not using the multi vendor facility you can deactivate and delete this plugin Dokken and WP Bingo Core is the basic main core theme plugin developed by the developer itself so it is required revolution slider is being used for the hero image um, slider so this is also equally required and WooCommerce and associate plugins are also here so uh, variation swatches and a smart wish list and compare for WooCommerce so these are associated plugins of WooCommerce yeah, you may not wish to use or you may skip to use these plugins associated uh, plugins for WooCommerce however WooCommerce is required because finally we are going to make an e-commerce website using WooCommerce so okay so uh, these are 10 plugins and at initial stage I would rather recommend you to install all the plugins uh, to uh, get the complete feature of the theme and plugins and let her just let her just in case you don't need to use any feature you can deactivate and delete those plugins which you are not going to use and don't keep extra plugins in your installation which is being unused okay so I am installing all the 10 plugins in one go I have selected all and selecting install and clicking on apply and again if you are not confident about your server capacity and if you are using a low resource server don't install all the plugins in one go it may disrupt the installation and bring, um, bring error or return error 
So uh, on this screen you can see all 10 plugins got installed in just few seconds and if you are ordering uh, Econix uh, theme at WP themes website link has been given in the description of this video in a pre-installed manner I mean you, if you are opting to have uh, hosting with your theme pack so you can get the theme in pre-installed manner so that you may start building your website immediately uh, once your order gets complete so link in the description so you can choose to have all these uh, ready-made features for you for your website and okay so you shall be getting the same capacity server as you are watching on the on the screen and all 10 plugins have been installed successfully we can go back to the plugin installer screen and now we have to activate all the installed plugins and that also can be done in a single click so i have selected all plugins and clicking on activate apply and it is being activated now okay great so all plugins has been activated framework is here ocommerce is here simply click on dashboard sometime ocommerce need certain information and it may navigate you to the putting test up information yes it is going to that page only so i am putting just sample data you may put the original one as applicable for you uh, and you should use the correct data here i am just uh, putting the sample to complete the installation ok so thanks and just complete the installation this is not required in fact so uncheck this this will install additional plugins those are not required later you can install those plugins if you need this so business details are here and this is very ridiculous in fact I don't need this and it is installing by default which is not good Okay, and here you need to choose the Econix currently active theme and continue with my active theme. Okay, great. So we have completed the installation of WooCommerce as well along with all rest plugins and we are fine now and now it is time to take a look, look of our website, how it looks with the theme and the set up plugins itself and this is being the basic look of Econix and yes it is without any demo content this is why it is looking so clean and clear so okay so if you wish to use your own design I mean you are having your own wireframe and you want to use your own design and don't want to use any pre-made website like any of these you can start building your website as scratch from here you shall be getting this all the features of theme along with the plugins uh, since we have already installed a theme and plugins and you can get all features from here and you can start building your website as scratch from here but WordPress is basically known for pre-made website and this is very important if you uh, want to have a pre-made website you can import the pre-made demo website and at this stage we may proceed towards importing the pre-made demo website and token if you are using you can complete the setup however it is up to you and up to your requirements so these are the basic things so now I am going to find the demo content importer and after that I will show you the rest of options available 
in the theme and what we got in this installation let me find where i can get the demo content and i never used to hide anything so everything is going on your screen only and i'm exploring the theme options okay so under theme option there is a demo importer option and we will explore all these options of course uh, first of all we need to complete the demo uh, website and uh, under demo importer under theme options under appearance in fact uh, under appearance there is a theme option and under theme option there is a demo importer so we have only one choice here so click on import demo data and let us see what happens so demo import i believe is started and read these uh, vitals as well so you need to complete or fulfill these requirements uh, so that uh, your demo content got installed successfully and it is saying that the maximum execution execution time should be 40000 i have seen this very first time and php memory limit 5 to 12 is okay but yes the import of demo content is going on and you should take care of these vitals because without this the demo import will not go successful and it is saying that it may take up to 3 to 5 minutes depending upon your internet speed and your server capacity and the connection with the developer server as well so we have to wait on this screen until this screen goes to 100 and let the process to be completed with due patience if you really want to have a demo website it is a necessary activity so wait and watch and in my case it is stuck on 34 percent and how we can check actually it is stuck or not so it is very simple we can open the media library and on another tab and check how many images we got as of now so these are 202 images which we got as of now uh, in the demo import and it is still on 34 percent i will refresh this page if it is increasing the demo import is going on it is a simple indication uh, because first of all media files gets imported and we can refresh this page to check whether it is working or not still it is 202 so it means it is stuck and we can wait for a moment or and uh, to check further uh, we can check the pages whether we got any page however pages comes in very last so these are the pages uh, that comes with the ocommerce installation these are not the demo pages in fact and yes so we may conclude that it is stuck on 34 percent and the developer is already saying that it needs a maximum execution time of 40,000 it is really very big so 40,000 so I have changed the maximum execution to 40,000 and my memory limit to 512 so now I believe it will work and okay so um, what I am going to do is since it is stuck and it is very clear from this media file refresh activity i will refresh this page of demo import and it can be said as a trick so it is again uh, on the previous stage and i am again clicking on import demo and let us see what happens this time however it is a uh, tedious activity you can say but yes in order to get the okay so now it is increasing the trick worked i assume and now we can refresh this page whether it is increasing or not 
so now it is 219 so it is working so it is now on 37 percent and uh, in the similar manner we have to reach on 100 percent on this screen just in case it gets stuck check media files and pages and you may refresh this page just in case if it stuck for you as well so we have to reach on 100 percent anyhow and uh, finally after three or four refresh as i uh, assume uh, i read on this screen it is saying imported and now we can check the media files how many media files we got in the demo import in fact the media files was the reason which was taking time and we got 361 media items it is really a big number uh, in the demo import and we can check the pages as well how many pages we got in the demo import uh, so that we make very clear so these are 35 pages and 33 are published in fact and we got all the home pages in the demo import so 11 home pages are here and that is fine we got all the contents media files and the pages now it is time to take a look of our website how it looks now after the importing the demo content complete demo content is here and yes the complete website is here and since i mm, refreshed the pages i mean uh, imported the content twice or thrice so menu items got repeated it doesn't matter See, we can simply uh, delete the menu items and this item will be fine this area will be fine and rest of things can we can check so we got a wonderful website of course and this activity we have got complete demo website and what next we just need to do just put our own content on items and all materials so uh, it will be fine so we can handle this menu first uh, it is very simple and i believe you might be knowing this so menu we can check and the uh, main menu select and this is being the main menu and we can manage the locations of main menu main menu can be set as main menu vertical menu can be vertical menu and top bar menu is the top bar menu okay so it is simple and i believe the top bar menu is repeated so i will handle that as well and it is fine and uh, main menu vertical menu we can check okay so it is also good and dashboard faq home one okay so i am just refreshing the page to check okay so now menu uh, so that was not repeated in fact so that was only not assigned this is why it was looking like that now it is very good and it is fine and everything is good uh, in this installation so we can check the search box so search function as well so this is immune so let us type immune i double m u n e so i'm just checking the yes ajax search is working very fine so in the uh, e-commerce website ajax search is very important if it is working fine you are really going to get a good number of cell uh, from your e-commerce website and it is very important this is why i checked that so order tracking feature and my account checkout wish list all features are here so my wish list and shop options so let us complete one order to check everything is working fine or not because we have already got uh, 10 pre-made website and it is good that it has both the buttons here generally uh, WooCommerce does not provide the buy now option and this thing is giving you this option so we can simply go to the buy now 
option directly without adding to the cart and this can skip the steps a few steps to uh, make the process buying process faster so this is buy now and yes everything is fine and it is the information and after integrating the payment gateway the order can be placed or even you can choose your payment options as you need on your website so order tracking is another great thing which is available so order id can be found in order information uh, confirmation mail billing email and this is the new thing uh, which the visitors and the buyers can track their orders where it is laying or what is the status of their order that is also very important so order tracking is very important feature and we got wonderful website with uh, all eight or ten home pages and all are made with the elementor so this is a great advantage for this website and we have a great outcome uh, from this activity i am in the installation activity and we got a wonderful website of course okay now it is time to show you uh, what we got additional in this installation so i will show you only those things what we got uh, additionally after this installation so this is wp bingo is the main thing which we got uh, additionally rest things are as common as in wordpress so we only need to go through the wp bingo options that is the theme option you can simply say wp bingo framework is here and theme options is another great thing okay so this is the setting we, and demo importer we have already used and this is being the general setting and the general setting newsletter form or and background image uh, pop up newsletter image and back on top option can be set logo and icons so logo can be set from the, the general uh, setting under logo and icons vertical menu so height and mm, can be decided and again we have multiple header options to choose with so you can choose any header as you like for your website and these are the multiple header options available for you similarly multiple footer uh, option are also available so you can choose any available footer and copyright content can be handled from here page title settings is here and 404 page social share social links styling is again a good control so loading overlay and mm, banner effect can be set from here this is new thing which i have seen in this installation again typography uh, custom font you can use just in case if you want to use your own font uh, so custom font option is available however default font is already here e-commerce settings so shop uh, paging infinity and rest of settings so style layout shop uh, one two three four and multiple styles available the so banner shop and url banner shop and description banner shop okay so these are the settings for the shop option that is for e-commerce settings and single product and image product okay so these are the additional settings available so window lens and it this is also new thing zoom type is inner window and lens so these are the three settings which you can opt to have on your website okay and blog setting is here demo importer already has been used and import of op export option is so these are the settings available Mm, as control panel or theme panel you can say and i believe uh, these are the enough controls that we are having on the website for com controlling the content and wp clever is something new so i can check what is this i don't believe it is being used so wp clever is something so i don't know what is this exactly however it is available okay so the rest of things are as common as in wordpress and we got everything in our control and control panel gives each and everything now finally i'm going to show you how to edit the page content just in case we want to edit the home page since this 
theme uses the elementor and editing with elementor is so easy and you just need to open the page and click on edit with elementor so i will rather advise you to take a backup of page at least for home page if you are going to edit the content of page because just in case you made any mistake you can restore the page and however if you are confident on uh, elementor so you can use these directly so editing with elementor is so simple this is slider one and this theme uses revolution slider so slider area can be handled from the slider revolution section this is here so this is slider revolution i must show you so there are already uh, all sliders has been imported in the demo content so you can use any available slider uh, already mm, available and slider one has been used in this demo and you can change it and these are the controls just click on the area which you want to edit and it will be available in the left panel and you can uh, edit the content and images as you so the some of some fields are coming from the product listing itself so make sure that you should use the same dimension images and uh, text which has been used in the demo content to maintain the integrity of the website rest things will be fine mm, and you can simply make your website awesome using the e conix wordpress theme and yes i believe i have shown you each and everything and mm, we can again go back to the our outcome website final website and you might have certain question regarding this theme don't hesitate in asking any question uh, in the comment section of this video and you can even get in touch directly with me by following the link given in the description of this video mm. and you can get the iconic uh, wordpress theme there along with the hosting plan in a pre-installed manner so choice is available and you just need to start your website project be in touch keep watching and make wonderful websites thank you